Hello everyone. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about how we write a SQL statement using select, from, where and order by. If you want to read more theory about how the engine processes the commands, there's some brilliant articles written by Itzik Bengan around logical query processing. Um, I'll pop a link into the description and if you're interested I highly recommend reading those. Um, he often covers these topics in his talks and seminars so if you ever get a chance to see him go because he is amazing. Um, so to write the simplest of SQL statements all we really need is the select and the from keywords. And the best way to think about these are that the select is what you want and the from is where it is. So if you wanted a mug for a brew, you'd select mug from cupboard. And it's the same in SQL. You select the fields you want from the table you specify. So I've opened up a new query window, which you can do by clicking onto new query here in SSMS and using wide world importers, I have learned to say it correctly now, um, here's an example of what this will look like. So we've got select package type name from wide world importers dot warehouse dot package types and I can just press F5 on my keyboard to run this. So if you're not familiar with the table structure, you can have a look at it over here on the left. So this is my database list here. Um, so you would click there and click onto tables uh, and then scroll down onto the table that you want to look at. And you can see here what columns the table has. So if you wanted more than one field, you can just separate them with a comma like so. And drag one over here and just press F5 again. So now we can see the package type name and the package type ID. Um, if we wanted to select all of the columns, then we can just do select star like this and that will show them all. Um, so if we were doing this on a large table and we just wanted to quickly see what the data looks like, we could add the words top and whatever number before the star and it will then return just that number of records so we could do like select top 10 star and that will then just show us the top 10. Um, in SSMS there's now a really useful feature where you can right click on the table and select top 1000 rows which was groundbreaking when it came out in SQL 2008. You guys learning now do not know the struggle. <laughs> Now, if we wanted to restrict the data shown to, say, just one salesperson, this is where we would need to add a WHERE clause. So, if I just copy that, we can then say here where salesperson ID equals 2. And if I just run that, that will then filter the results showing just that salesperson ID. And if we wanted to add an additional filter, then we just type the words AND and then the field, the next field we want to filter by, um, so we can filter there by customer ID 832 and now we can see only salesperson ID 2 and customer ID 832 as well. We can see that currently this happens to be ordered by the order ID which is the primary key but it is worth noting that a specific order is not guaranteed unless you add an order by clause. So if we need to specify the order we want the data in, uh, we can type order by. And then here we can type either the column name or the number that it is. So picked by, for example, is column ID 4. So we can see here 1, 2, 3, 4. So I can just write 4 there and that will then order it by the fourth column, which is picked by person. Or we can type the column name specifically. So if I want to go back to order ID, then I can just type that in there and that will then order it by order ID. Uh, this does default to ascending order. Uh, if you want to order it by descending, then you just need to specify desk there. 
and that will just order that there. So in the same way as the select statement, if you wanted to order it by multiple columns, um, again, you just add a comma and then pick a column name. So let's add last edited by. That's not really changed that because there's no multiple orders there, but that's kind of the gist of it. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's as simple as that. Uh, later tutorials will go further in depth on things like group by, union, distinct, etc. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please like and subscribe to the channel and feel free to add any comments below. Uh, the next tutorial in this series will be the group by function. So thank you for watching.